Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time we talked about ways we can know about God's eternal nature. This time, can we know that there's only one God? There are a few good reasons to think this. First, as we discussed in episode 262, having the nature of God and being God are one and the same, because God is totally simple. Because of this, anyone or anything that shares his nature isn't a separate being at all, in the same way that a person wouldn't be separate from you if they were you. Because of this, the nature of God can't really be had by multiple separate beings. Secondly, the order in the world. Things conform to an order everywhere with incomprehensibly small margins for error. Little things in the formation of the universe could have disrupted the chemical balance of our world, or the ability of our sun to come into existence, or of our planet's atmosphere to contain oxygen. The creation of moisture alone, which is necessary for all known life, requires an incredibly well-balanced combination of forces in the universe. However, if there were multiple gods, it's very unlikely that they'd have such perfect teamwork which would allow them to construct something as well-ordered as our universe. Finally, though, what about God's perfection? God's perfection is one of the major characteristics that we can identify him by. So, suppose there were multiple perfect beings, both with perfect knowledge of everything, both with limitless power, and both morally perfect. Does a being need absolute power in order to be perfect? Yes, of course. In that case, we have to ask a question. Which of these two or more beings has absolute power over the other? If you pick one, then that one would be God, and the other one wouldn't be. The second being would still be powerful, but due to being under the control of the first, he would have a limitation, and would therefore not be perfect. If neither one had absolute power over the other, neither one would be perfect, since they would both lack perfect power. And if each had absolute control over the other, they would both have limitations and would be imperfect. In fact, when you think about it that way, the very fact that a being is perfect means that it needs to be the only perfect being. So, for all of these reasons, we know that it's logically impossible for there to be more than one God. As it says in the Old Testament, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Next time, can God ever be divided? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.